It's alive and it's finally here. My creation is finally alive. Or I should say my acquisition because I didn't do anything for this. What's going on my people? Welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk to you guys about the most anticipated hot toys in the history of hot toys. And yes, I'm talking about the guy you guys see in front of you the whole buster this was in pre-order for years and it went through different uh problems uh with engineering and fixes and you name it but he is finally here and he's a beast of a figure and i don't want to say a must but he's pretty up there on and you know, when it comes to figures, it, this is the biggest figures i ever seen from Hot Toys. And I don't think they have a bigger one. If you are talking about humanoids, not uh, vehicles. So, there you have him, Moe's Glory. He's powered by Soap Reactor, which is that's why this video took so long to do and but now i receive all the kills and everything i needed if you don't own a soap reactor you're missing out and i'm probably gonna do a video about that in the near future so stay tuned if you want to know and hear all about it but let me quickly turn on the line over here so you guys can see him better i don't know if to call this a review or an overview or whatever this is but um I just want to showcase the the whole buster to you guys because I've been saying for forever that I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, and he's finally here, and I'm just super happy about it. And I want to show you guys uh, the beauty that this thing is. And there you have it. Um, the detail on this guy is just mind blowing. If we zoom in here, let me see if I can do this. Without giving you all the detail on this guy is just incredible. It's amazing the amount of uh, scratches that he has. His feet are just completely covered in dust. And my apologies for the camera movement. I just want to show you the feet here. They're completely covered in dust then they, they bother me a little bit when I put it all the house. I was just trying to wipe the feet off because I thought it was dusty. That's just how good the paint job is. It's just like when you're in VR, you're trying to grab th something and you're like, you forgot that you cannot do this because that's actually not there. Well, this is not real dust, obviously, it's just a pain. But it was so real, it's so realistic that I was just wiping them off and I'm like, this is not coming off and I'm like, duh, it's just pain, but it's overall, it's super good. All the scratches and all the mechanisms that he has, it's just incredible. The gauntlets and you know, the fact that you can put an Iron Man inside there is just mind-blowing to me. And this is the bus because I don't own the Mark, the Mark 43, nor will I purchase a Mark 43 just to stuck it in there because as you can see here, this is perfectly fine for me. And uh, you cannot see his hands or his legs, so you don't know. I, I will have to tell you, hey, this is the bus or this is Mark 43, so there is no point in that for me because the Mark 43 is a really expensive figure on itself and I haven't checked upon him in a long long time but uh, my guess will be that now that the whole buster is out it's a bunch of people that want that and the prices 
maybe maybe have increased and that would be my guess i haven't checked upon it because i am not interested in buying a mark 43 to stuck it in there i'm perfectly fine with the bust which it looks kick ass and it plays the part the lights uh on the reactor light up so on the on the head so i'm perfectly fine with that but what is a hull buster without a hulk and i just want to quickly show you here a comparison in size in height with the hulk itself and now through the magic that is editing i present to you the high size and everything comparison between the whole buster and the hulk it's funny because the i was i had a few hot toys uh hulk since he's so expensive i put him and uh, towards the back of the list of the hot toys that i was gonna get i was gonna get him definitely because he's one of my favorite characters but he he since he's so big he's kind of a little bit expensive uh, expensive and he comes with barely nothing so i was pushing back until i find a really good price and like hey uh there you go this this is the the stop that i was looking for so i went ahead and get it but there you guys have it when i received my hulk i was like this is freaking huge i have seen so many videos but until you receive these massive um figures and you have them on your hand you don't fully realize how, how how big they are and hulk was just incredibly huge when i pulled it out of the packaging i mentioned in one of my videos in one of my collection videos he's as big as a baby well here you have him next to the hulk buster and as you can see the hulk buster towers over him and i had the exact same feeling when i received my hulk buster it was just slightly different and the difference was like when i opened the packaging for the whole buster my reaction was oh my god what have i done this is a mistake where am i going to display this this is way too big my intentions from the beginning was to place the whole buster uh in my diorama that i have created that everybody's fighting hulk that's just not gonna be the case he's way too big he's huge if you haven't have uh the whole buster in front of you you have no idea how big this thing is it's just and uh, it's just crazy how big it is how difficult to pose him to 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 move his arms his legs are impossible to a single person to articulate him it's, it's just it's ridiculous how big this thing is and how heavy he is and there you guys have it. this is an interesting pose that i have chosen and it, it was not meant for hulk i mean i don't really want to play around with too much with it because he's so heavy and he doesn't look fragile he's very robust but he, he he's full of uh wires on the back and i don't want to be pulling uh the wrong wire and messing up the the cables but this pose that i have here it was not meant for the comparison for hulk it was meant for someone else which is, is going to be remaining uh on display for now in that position because i love what i've done and i'm particularly proud of it and i'm about to show you right now and as you can see here this is spider-man homecoming Han May suit and this figure is incredible and i am super super happy with that pose that i did is i it was very clever of me but no but seriously it was super happy i'm super happy it was very fun to 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 create that pose in my mind and then bring it into fruition as you can see here he lost his mask he he's reaching for it and he's taking a dive and tony came to his aid because he's like a son to him and he's just holding he he shoot the web towards the whole buster hand and he's swinging from it and he's taking a dive for the masks which i am also very proud to come up with the idea of getting one of the 
spare eyes and plug it into the eye sockets of the mask and now you can see here the mask has the one of the eyes uh, on one of the sides I was going to be I was going to do it on both sides but the way the mask is sewn together it just doesn't look right because it's sewn through the middle and these spare masks not the regular mask so I don't know why Hata decided to do that because I guess it's easier for them to do it since it's just going to be a mask that he's not going to be wearing. He's going to mask it. He's going to be wrapped on his hand. So yeah, they were like, whatever, let's just do this. People's going to be happy and I'm perfectly happy with it. I have no problem with it. But um, yeah, I think it looks really, really nice sticking one of the eyes inside there and making it look like his actual mask with the, with the eyes. Um, with the you know camera shutter eyes that he created for to help him uh, and vision to to help him see what where the hell he's going because he's enhanced abilities that he has now. So that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna be displaying him. Uh, he's gonna be in front of my computer. So because my one of the things that I regret is that I have my entire collection on my back and I can never see any of my hot toys when I'm playing on my computer or when I'm doing anything on my computer. I do have my display here of the Tony Stark uh, Iron Man uh, helmet and you know Mjolnir and the uh, shield for Captain America and all that. That's what I see all the time which I'm perfectly fine with and I'm happy with that. But my hot toys, I wish I could see them more and you know I have to turn around to see them. But now I have this setup here, it's right next to me. I just have to take a quick peek to the left and I'll be seeing the whole buster with Spider-Man. And I just love how, how that came out, if I can say so myself. I just really like how it came out. The whole buster is an incredible figure, it's not for everybody. It's really expensive. And um, but I will if you've seen videos of it, if you've seen you know what you're getting and I will highly recommend it. If you're in love with it, I am and I freaking love it. Hullbuster 2.0 is coming on on Infinity Ward. It looks really nice. I kinda like this one a little better because it looks more like robust, more old school, more mechanically. The other one looks a little more polished. You know, like Tony had time to do a better, you know, to make it prettier. This looks more industrial. That's why I like this one a little better. But let's see if Hot Toys decides to boot it out, which I think they will. And uh, let's see, maybe it grows on me a little bit more and then I can have two whole busters and that would be insane. But I don't know why would I do that. But hey, I am clinically insane already. I have papers. So I am legit insane. I might go for that. But let's see. First of all, uh, I have to like it. I have to grow on me. I'm not. I, let's say that Hot Toys out today. I would not be buying it today. But if I see a movie and I really like it and Hot Toys decides to go for it, then hey, maybe. I don't know. I'll just order one of those and a straight jack in and I'll be set to go. So <laughs> all jokes aside people, let me uh, let me know what you think about this setup with the Spider-Man hanging down. What do you think about the uh, Hulk Buster? Do you have one? Do you want one? Are you happy with the one you, you have? And you know, put all that on the comments below. And as I always say, don't be a strain on the channel. Be around.